Hello, I'm Jerry Lindner, and this is State of the Town, a monthly show when we fit. fit. We fit! <laughs> well, sometimes we don't fit. <laughs> we sit with our first selectman, Lisa Hebner, and get brought up to date on the State of the Town. Now, we were in a fascinating conversation just before the rolling of this that involved our guests, who will come with us about Oh, maybe 10 minutes or so. <laughs> but it's a secret now who she is. Lisa, Queen oh. of Simsbury. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Well, let me help you here. <laughs> you were trying to hit me, I know, but instead, look, look I what know. you did. I know. So, you know, I'm going to start kind of open ended. I mean, I know you probably don't have things you want to particularly cover, but on the other hand, I'm really curious about what these two things are. I, I know what that is about. Probably everybody does, but we should probably talk about that. And then, and we're going to have to crowd this in okay. before you guess. I've seen you at a couple activities being pulled away by a telephone conversation <laughs> and looking quite uh, intense. <laughs> <laughs> and when I asked you about it, you said, oh, 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 we can talk about that the next show, next show. If only but then I when, I saw it you, <laughs> when I saw you the second time and you were doing the same thing, mm -hmm. only with a different intense expression, I said, don't forget that thing, you know, the first time you said, oh, this is better, this is better. So I'm assuming <laughs> that on this list are really, really exciting things that had to do with those telephone calls. Well, hopefully I can this remember. <laughs> You don't, you don't put stuff on your private email, do you? No, I do not. No, it's all government yeah, stuff, right? Yeah, of course. And your phone is like a government phone that's taped? No, no, <laughs> not taped, no. <laughs> okay, well, pick two or three items, and then it's my turn to pick. Well, okay, well, the first thing I wanted to do is... is tell what this is. Okay, well, okay. this is actually a filter. It's a metal filter, and it was made in Simsbury <laughs> by... Help me. Well, actually, this is one that they gave to me because um, it wasn't exactly what they were looking for. It was too spongy or something. Uh, oh, oh, it's metal. It's not a sponge. Come on. No, it's a metal filter. That's right. It's made by Applied um, Porous Technologies, which is located at the, you know, at the mill in Terrafil. And it's a, a manufacturing company. That. We have some of the coolest... Porous? Porous? Applied porous technology. So, so this is metal. Porous? It's metal, it but is. it's porous? It is. And they use this in things like Caterpillar uh, equipment. They use it... It's, they make uh, parts that go all across the world. It's a very cool company. They and do they've a, been here a long time? Yeah, I, I don't remember exactly how long, but yeah, they've been here a, a number of years. And okay. they're very exciting. They have employ... Know, eight to ten people and you go in there they've got a huge furnace that they use to s make some of the parts they do a lot of their cutting there precision cutting oh, it's a very sounds cool sounds like it's a very polluting kind of industry not at all right up next to the river there no nope, <laughs> not at all actually <laughs> okay well that's good hey you guys guys and gals they have women there working too i hope yeah of course engineers mm -hmm. women engineers the the owner is actually a physicist but yeah they do they work with engineers they work with Physics. lots of companies mm -hmm. physics that's something that I never really concentrated on in school. I think when I have more time to think, I'm going to start learning about physics. I think, you know, it's like spooky stuff. You know, it's like talking about stuff that you can't see. And if you, like, follow some of the reasoning that you can't see, you end up with something you can see that wasn't there before. Right. Okay, just like knowledge that you will gain from watching this show, <laughs> because Lisa is so informative. But, okay, so now... But I just want to say, one of the things about Simsbury that a lot of people don't know is we have some very cool technology companies in town, and I've been going around visiting them, and it's, you know, it's one of the things that makes Simsbury sort of cutting edge. Yeah, I mean, like we've got what, an explosive factory we right do. in the middle of town. And, um, I mean, they make a big bang, so... Well, actually, I'm glad you brought that up, Jer. Because... <laughs> <laughs> actually, we just did an um, emergency response uh, drill with them, and it's Dino Nobel. So we did a three-hour drill with them a couple weeks ago, where our fire, police, emergency, traffic control, our emergency operations center all coordinated with them and simulated a fire in a non-product building, and they did a search, rescue, and transport drill there. 
and they worked with the ensign, I mean, with the Dino Nobel um, employees and their incident command to talk about what would happen in a real incident. And we implemented the 911 reverse call to residents, letting them know about the drill, so we were able to test that oh, as well. Did you ever? Please, not only you did it, the state did it, <laughs> and each one of you did it four <laughs> times, and to the cell phone, and to the house phone. <laughs> you know, scared to death. I said to Jan, let's leave town for that day. <laughs> no, but the point is, you do need to test these things. Somebody pushed the button too many times. All right, well, I'll talk to them about that. But okay. it's a good reminder to everyone, if you haven't signed up for emergency alert, alerts before the storm season's upon us, do you want to do that right now, right? Yeah, and where absolutely. do you do that, Jer? Okay, we'll talk about something not important, and you go sign up for it right now. <laughs> But we talk very fast, so do not take a long time signing up. We can do it How right on the town web up? right on the town website. There's a button that says community right. alerts. It's a green button with people on it and you push that and it'll take you to news and announcements for the town, connect our emergency alerts locally and the Connecticut emergency alerts. Or you know what else? Because everybody watches us on streaming video on FCTV's feed. So like if they went to sign up now and they missed the rest of the show, they can Watch it on streaming video. Or Absolutely. they may miss a critical hunk right here, because our next very important thing is drinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Jerry, take a look at this. What do you think of that? West Simsbury. You know what that is? Simsbury is starting its own radio station. And do you know why we're starting that radio station, Jerry? To propagandize? No. no. <laughs> well, if you think back to 2011 and the great October snowstorm where our communications went down, yeah, and there was not a lot of ways to communicate with the public. Do people have radios? They do. And and what we're going to have our own radio station, which is 103.5. So in the case of an emergency, if everybody tunes into that, we can give you the most up-to-date. How do they know there's an emergency and to tune into it? Well, or I is think there music on it otherwise? There is music you on it. You could listen to it all the time. You could. They're, yeah. they're downloading music now as we speak. They and it goes, beep. We interrupt this show yes. to bring you, hello, I'm Lisa Hafner. <laughs> we are having an emergency. But, you know, the information like where, when the shelters are open, where to go okay. for assistance with the powers out. Um, you know, we found that uh, during the last one, it was difficult to get information to our citizens. So we're excited to offer this. I'd like to thank, you know, Kevin Kowalski, Jeff Higginbone. Those phone calls don't do it? They do, they do some, but some people want more information. You can't make phone calls nonstop, but you can run the continuous information there on the radio station. It was nonstop. <laughs> the, um, and then they'd have to be in their car to be listening to their radio. No, I have a battery-operated radio. But you, you only turn it on when there's an emergency. I, precisely, Jerry. Yeah, but you don't know until you're told there's an emergency on 103.5. So just constantly leave your radio on in the background to 103.5, along with the three channels that SCTV has played, along with your computer and the streaming video on town meetings, yeah. uh, board of selectmen mm -hmm. meetings, state of the town. So, I mean, actually, if people just did earbuds and... W when are we going to get town-wide Wi-Fi for free? Because then they could just be tuned in one earbud for one thing, one earbud for the other thing, and then you'd come on and say, we're having an emergency now. Turn to 103.5. Right. Okay. So, but that is actually exciting, and that's a partnership between the town and the fire department. And I just want to thank Kevin Kowalski, Chief Baldus, our chief, and Tom. Yeah. Cook, and lots of people were involved in that. Mickey, this is an important way for Mickey, us. Oh, Mickey sorry. <laughs> well, social she service. Gave me the I did. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did. But, you know, sometimes. No, <laughs> mouse. No, no. But Mickey is the hint. Yes, but during an emergency, often our most vulnerable citizens are looking for information, where to go for shelter, for food. And uh, Mickey provides us a lot of that information. She's our Mickey director. Of, no, Mickey LaCour's back, our director of social services. I saw a sign out cheese was needed in front of Eno. That's right. So, well, makes sense, doesn't it, when you put all the clues together. <laughs> so now, now, you know, I do not want to take away from our prime guest time so I know you probably have a list that's really long. You got to pick the, the next most exciting. Well, a couple of things. First of all, I wanted to thank what I say the next 
most exciting thing. And I'm good again, too. How smooth she is. Oh, I have a couple things. Well, the first is I, our residents um, had the opportunity to do touch a truck with the Public Works Department building. Touch a what? Touch a truck at the library, the Library and Public touch Works a truck. Department. Yes, they brought in all the big trucks like loaders and plows and backhoes and even mowers, and our the children could come. Were they, there any Corvettes? There were no Corvettes. No. No hmm. Corvettes. But kids could come and they'd get a hat and they'd get to go sit in the trucks and our, um, I wanted to thank our town employees and library staff who manned all the booths and there was hot chocolate and what I understand very bad coffee. I did not hear hot chocolate. Hot and chocolate. that was not on 103.5? It was not, not yet. Which, oh. Oh, okay. Oh. So I'm going to give them oh. one last thing coming up. As you know, with the season upon us, right? We got what season? Simsbury celebrates the fall. As it turns to fall, we start thinking about Simsbury celebrates, and they're in need of volunteers. I thought you meant Halloween, and like they're going to like not allow Halloween at some schools. Oh, I haven't heard that here, Jer. And no, in I fact, know that's not here. In fact, but we're quick, doing. Hurry up on this. Simsbury celebrates. It's wonderful. It's it great. is. It is, and there are a lot of people who volunteer for it. It's a All huge amount of work. All volunteers. Huge amount. Our granddaughter loves it, even if it happens to be on a freezing cold night. She climbs on her dad's shoulders, sticks her feet in his armpits, and put her hands under his hat. He also has a shaved head to keep those warm. So. But, but you know what? That's part of what makes our community great, right? Lots of volunteers come together, give of their time and service to the community, and offer this wonderful, wonderful event okay. for our community. And Fine. that's part of what... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay, so we, our guest, I know, is very eager to get on, but I have a couple things I yes. want to say. Since you aren't going to address the telephone calls, what those were about, what were the television stations doing here? It's probably not happy stuff. Was it about the graffiti? Yeah, there were some conversations about that. You conversations? Know. A yeah. parking lot was filled with media trucks. Well, right. I mean, you know, look, it's it's always shocking when something like that happens in a community. As I understand it, you know, the individual who did that has been um, identified, and the poli police and the uh, schools are taking their appropriate actions because it's a juvenile. They can't tell us what those are, but they took it very seriously and are taking it very seriously. I thought the principal did a great job, did a public service announcement video talking to the kids. Okay. Uh, then I saw in one night on the news mm -hmm. two Simsbury spots. One of them was Chief Ingvertson. You didn't watch it. You I don't. Did, I don't it is. You have to tell me which one. I don't remember. For okay. Heaven's sake. <laughs> and then the other one, I think, was you. Me. I, but it was odd. Oh, you know what it was? I don't. Know. I will That's tell you. This is another it. great thing remember. about about our community and actually neighboring communities came together. A group of women, many of them who have connection to police and is fire. Is this sexist now? Like, no, they it, just happen to be a group of mothers. A group of women. Yeah, okay. mothers who and their children put together packages for our police department and other police that departments was it. in that the was area. One of right. Them. Yeah. And it's just people who you know spontaneously decided to do a great act. That's right. And it was just so heartwarming to see people, you know, just, they did it not just because they cared. Yeah, yeah. And it was just, a, what a great community it where that happens. It was the same day the other thing was on, and it was real short, mm. really short. I don't know, maybe your guest will remember. Well, Chief was on that. He was, he was probably he interviewed was on that. that one, yeah. But then there was another one, that same mm. broadcast. No, I don't know. I don't know either. Hmm. Okay. But, but, you know, it's very inspiring when you see people do acts of generosity in this community. It happens all the time. How blessed are we? I know it does. I like mean, it just at the weird. Flower Bridge, right? Yeah, we live in a bubble here because everybody's so nice to everybody. You know, not like that every place. It's Although, no. I parked next to a lady today to pick up the cameras and that. She was not nice. She was, like, because I parked next to her, she was, like, the P word. You know, it's like... Now I have to open my door carefully. You know, I don't think she was from Simsbury. I think she was from Probably not, else. yeah. So anyhow, talking about people who hang out around Eno, mm -hmm. and because you're a surprise, surprise, 
guest Sorry. has been <laughs> chomping at the bit, why don't we invite her in? Okay, what we have with us today, would you like to introduce her? No, I, come on, come on, we've Mickey, got, and you introduce we've her. We've got Mickey Lucors back, who's our director of social now services. Now say, say the name more slowly, because it's a fancy name, and it's very musical. Well, I'll let you say your your formal name is Michaeline. Did I say that right? No. M you say it. Micheline. Micheline. Micheline Lecours Beck. Right. right. And that is musical. And this is the woman in the summer. You see, always obeying the speed limit. I go, <laughs> down the street in her Corvette. I mean, this woman does not mess around, and she brings as much energy to her job, which, if you're Queen of Simsbury, she baroness? You know what? She is so important to our community. I know she is. No, she she's really a critical is. mainstay. And as young as she looks, she's been doing it for... Right. What are you up to now, Mickey? 35 years, but I started when I was about seven. Yeah, I, I believe that. I honestly believe that. And I think, like, the hair color is real. <laughs> well, that we're, we're moving on from that well, question. Yeah, okay, on. okay. so let's, let's talk about Maybe you could give a general outline. I have an insight. I have an insight, just because our paths have crossed over the years, the tremendous amount of social service work that you do. But I think a lot of people in town, you know, that are seniors, I don't know, either don't need some of those services the people who need it are desperate, and they're hidden people in this community. So could you address a few of those programs? I think for some people it's going to be real news. And then like when you have the sign out front, that a mm -hmm. food program, could you mention that mm -hmm. and what we should do when you do that? Sure. Okay, go. Well, there are, despite the uh, thoughts um, that people have in town that this is an affluent community, it is an affluent community, but there are a lot of people in need. Right. Um, so we provide four food programs for those people, uh, Simsbury residents. Okay, so that's appetizer, salad, <laughs> entree, and dessert? Oh, no. no not sorry, quite. No. <laughs> no, not quite. We have a bread day. We have the mobile food share van. That bread day? I walked in there one day when the bread was there. It's cool looking bread. No, <laughs> it's fabulous. Where does very it good. come from? It's very good bread. We get donations weekly from uh, Fitzgerald's yeah. grocery store. We get it from um, uh, the bagel store. I'm not going to think well, about it. Brookside. There? Brookside Bagels. We get it from Panera Bread Restaurant. That's what I remember because that's like fancy schmancy And, of bread. course, I have to mention we, that we get uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, no, no, no. This I did not know. And we yes. get and this we get, I did not know. And we get extra crunchy, <laughs> extra crunchy. We take thighs. whatever they have. And when does this come? We get it every Friday. Every Friday. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I happen by no, no, we put it in the freezer. That's for cheese day. That's another. Oh, it's program. for Tuesday. Cheese day. Cheese day. The other one I'm I want to fried chicken is for cheese well, day. Well, you know what? That's a great question because what is cheese day? Mickey, can you give us the history yeah, but behind I cheese know day? How to get the extra crunchy dark? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you have to qualify first of all for it. Oh. The the other thing that I was saying, Starbucks also gives us donations on a weekly basis um, of a lot of desserts, really good desserts. Um, My God, these people are eating better than I do. No, <laughs> no. Um, and then the second, uh, the third program is the food closet, and then the fourth program is our largest food program, and that is Cheese Day. The food closet. Mm. It's that really a closet. Kind of kinky. Well, it is a no. closet. But okay. Well, okay. So what? Let's start so with one Cheese of them. Day. Cheese Day started uh, about 32 years ago. It was called the U.S. Government Commodities Sur Surplus Commodities Program, and it was the U.S. government sponsored or, or subsidized rather the farmers out west. And in return for that, we got these. And you have to be a lot older to to uh, remember this, but there were five pound bricks of cheese um, that we gave away to residents. And I happen to remember five pound Do you? bricks of cheese. Okay. So that means I'm really old. Uh, yeah, well, I am too, because I remember. <laughs> well, the too. fact I can remember, that's okay. So, <laughs> so five and, and, of and butter, big pounds of butter was Ooh. awful things, really, for people. It wasn't very healthy, but a lot of stuff. What do you mean? Cheese, butter? Well, crunchy, extra yeah. crunchy. Yeah, chicken, Kentucky yeah. fried chicken. 
Uh, well, anyway, the government stopped doing that about 15 years ago, and people came to me and said, yeah, we really depend on this food. And so we said, all right, we'll continue it on our own. So we sought out donations, and now we call it just gen just ch cheese day, because that's what people know it by. But is it just cheese? No, no. We don't, actually, we don't give out cheese. Uh, maybe a couple of times a year, because it's very expensive. <laughs> I love cheese. I was just going to ask, like, do you have double cheddar? Yeah, no. Oh, no. no. Stilton, a lot of them don't like Stilton, and I love Stilton, so mm. there's probably lots of leftover, but no cheese. No. Actually, there's sometimes the community farm donates produce. Well, like that's that. for bread day. The community bread farm, day. all summer long, has given us over 3,000 pounds of um, produce. Now, for if people. you had cheese day and bread day on the same day, you could have grilled cheese sandwiches. Well, they can save the bread from <laughs> bread day. Bread day is on Tuesdays. Okay, so cheese day, there's no cheese. What is there on Oh, we buy fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, um, we buy yogurt and a dairy and, a, and, and uh, some meats. It's once what a month. month. It's once a month, and oh, you have to qualify month. for it. And um, well, we have over qualify? 200 families, Simsbury families, on that program. How do you qualify? Low income. Oh, okay. So that gives you a, a, an idea of how many people, uh, needy people there are. You know I time. don't get paid to do this, right? <laughs> so well, like you should apply. So I could get a deduction, right? Because be that says lost money for me yeah, to right. do this. Yeah, okay. okay yeah, but you should know when people come, they're so appreciative. You know, a lot of the food is donated. Mickey mm -hmm. does a great job. Very appreciative of Mickey, the staff, public well, works sets it up. should be appreciative? Yeah, but it it's, you know. It sounds like great. Okay, so cheese day is food day. Yeah. Then what about that closet thing? Cl the food closet is just canned goods. Um, so, I mean, is that it's good. another day? That's another day. That's right. So a person could conceivably come to f all four every month. Okay. Um, but actually the mobile food share van comes every other week. So they wait. can go there and get that. No, wait. That's another program. So you have to be in the closet to get the food on food closet day? Yeah. You okay. have to be eligible for that, yes. No, I mean, you have to be in the closet. Right? No. Oh, no. Oh, how did it get food closet? Because it's a closet. That's where they store the food, Jerry. I've seen the oh, closet, you have. please. Oh. I'm being what's <laughs> called humorous. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Okay, so we have cheese day, which is food, and then we have food closet mm -hmm. day, mm -hmm. right. which is once a month. But you mentioned there's something else. A mobile something. There's a mobile food cheer van that comes to Simsbury every other week. Mobile food cheer? Share. Share. Food cheer. Food cheer sends it out. And okay. that's got, um, it, it's different every every time they come, but it's um, all kinds of produce and, and fruits and vegetables and things like that. Potatoes well, even. Sometimes. And they do this year round? Year round. Mm -hmm. So, and the canned goods are from the closet? Yes. Okay. So we've got everything but cheese. We have food from the closet, canned goods. Mm -hmm. We have twice a month the mobile stuff, which is always a surprise. Mm -hmm. And is there yet another one? Well, there's bread day. Oh. And that's all the bread. And but when, when does the Kentucky Fried Chicken fit in? That's for cheese day. We use that. We throw it in the, in the freezer every week. And then on cheese day, we put it out. And we usually have 150 to 200 bags of chicken. So one of the saddest days in my life was when Kentucky Fried Chicken and Avon closed. Now I don't allow myself to eat it that often, mm -hmm. but all thighs, extra crispy mm -hmm. Kentucky Fried Chicken. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. what's a what's a couple years on your life when it tastes that good? Okay, now this is all about eating. Do we do anything else for people? Well, this time of year, we're focusing on um, heating assistance. Um, the state has a fuel assistance, um, energy assistance program. And instead of everyone in Simsbury having to go to the state to apply, or actually it's the, called the Community Renewal Team in Hartford, we take their applications here and process them. So all they have to do is uh, make an appointment with us, and we can have them come in. And um, there's a lot of documentation that's needed, but um, they can apply through us. And that's for heating with oil or with uh, electricity. And gas, naturally. And gas, of course, yeah. The, um, the food share thing, I want to go back. So that's, how does a community get involved in that? It sounds like that's a, a broader program. It is. It's regional. 
Um, actually, we have one in Simsbury, there's one in Granby, and there's one in Avon. And Simsbury, uh, a Simsbury resident could go to all three. And there are different days, so you could go to all three. You could hit them, hit them all. I'm retiring. See, there you go. Wow. How many pieces of extra crispy <laughs> Kentucky Fried Chicken could I get on cheese day? Well, I usually have to beg people to take, you know, like 10 or 15 bags of chicken, so we usually have plenty. You have to bag them? Yeah, well, we've had it for a lot of years, so... Oh, this chicken's been there a lot of years? No, no, no. no, no. no. We've been these <laughs> okay, well, what I was interested in focusing on today, and I really do appreciate it, because I know there are a lot of social things, like the weekly luncheon, yeah. you know, there yeah. are exercise programs for the seniors. Senior center, yes. Flu have, shots you just did? We did flu shots. We have mm -hmm. a very active senior center. Yeah, and you have like bridge and all of that. And mm -hmm. I think a lot more people know about those. But this is heavy duty stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is really core community kind of stuff that and, and, a lot of people don't know about. And I would say that most of the items uh, in these folk programs are all donated. And how do and we do that? People donate food items for these programs or they give us cash or you know a check, um, a financial donation, and we buy them. So when the sign was out saying we need these food items, how else do you communicate? Or like if I said, okay, I want to weekly or monthly make a contribution, what gives you the most flexibility? Money? or if I responded to a list of this is what we're going to be needing? Actually, either one. Really? Uh, with okay. the financial donations, we go out and purchase the items, um, or someone can just bring us food and we put it out. And so then either one. I might get a call if I did that saying, you know what, we have 50 bags. <laughs> Mickey, thank you oh, very, very much. We covered a lot of very important information oh, in a short amount of time, and I appreciate it. I mean, it's like... The unsung heroine. Absolutely. 35 years of doing that, making that kind of difference. That must allow you to sleep well at night. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you. And Lisa, as always, thank, thank you, you for tolerating me. My Lots pleasure. of fun on my part. Always. And I'm glad you all tuned in. Remember, streaming video, SCTV, fills your life with lots of information. And we'll see you next month on State of the Town. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.